Route 1A runs the length of New Hampshire's coastline, bending around a sharp corner near Rye Harbor, where a two-story building mirrors the cold Atlantic's bright blue and gray. It's an icon for locals and tourists alike, whose neon buoys and playful wooden lobster carvings make it hard to miss and easy to guess what's inside. Twin one and a half pound lobsters for Emmy. First of all, we have the boiled lobsters. And, uh, we have baked stuffed lobsters, which we sell quite a few of those. Then we have sautéed or fried lobster, just lobster tails, either sautéed or fried. And lobster rolls are a big seller. And uh, we sell lobster chowder, lobster bisque. Ray's Seafood has been on this spot in one way or another for nearly 60 years. It's at the roots of a fishing town and the heart of a family business buoyed by friendships since local Ray Parker started a lobster pound here in the late 50s and then built a seafood restaurant next door. Andy Widden remembers him well. Ray Parker was a real good friend of my family's and uh, I was really close to him. Um, and then my mother used to work for him at the restaurant. She worked for him from day one. Yeah. My father caught the lobster, helped bring lobsters in for Ray. He sold them his lobsters fresh off the boat, yeah. Andy is the owner now, a lifelong lobster fisherman like his father John, always connected somehow to Ray's. We used to get up at six o'clock in the morning and go catch the lobsters, then we'd come back in here and cook. It was Andy's mother, Aura, who took over in 1973 when Ray Parker passed away. She loved being here, talking to the people. The, the natives coming in and she'd sit down with them and talk to them and everything. She was just a great person. And she loved the kids that worked here, you know. The tide turning again in 1985 when Ray's burned to the ground and Aura decided to retire. That's when my father stepped in and said, I'm going to rebuild this and I'm going to rebuild this better than before. Katie Reardon and her sister grew up here too. She remembers working alongside her dad in the takeout shack he converted out back until the restaurant could be rebuilt. Which was really great um, for, for the family's morale as well as the customers because everyone, it was, it was such a loss when it burnt down. The new Rays opened in August of 87. Aside from a bar added a few years ago, little has changed. From the view and the family feel to the menu, with homemade original recipes, even the coleslaw and the tartar sauce. There was one year, a few years ago, that we had a new cook come in and he changed it. He put, um, what was it, uh, sweet relish in it instead of pickle relish. And I managed the Facebook page and I'm telling you, people were an uproar. <laughs> tartar sauce, so they changed it back. <laughs> the lobsters still hauled in from Rye Harbor. Andy's nephew now at the helm, delivering them the short distance to the pound out back, where they're sorted by size and kept in 46 degree water. Anything over a two pound goes in this one here. Do people order a four pound lobster? All the time. Yeah, they'll let, they'll, you know, three to four pounds is a, the common, the people get excited about it. You know, and it's, it's a special day for them. We have one kid that will constantly just run back here all day long. You know, he might go up and down the stairs probably 200 times. 1,500 pounds on a busy summer day, not uncommon. Sold cooked or uncooked. Sometimes through the busy takeout window that serves up the entire menu, right next to the kitchen, with everything from chowders made fresh and heated to order to most any version of seafood. This is Holden. One of our fry guys. Hello. Uh, been here now for three years. Uh, Dylan, best grill guy in the land. And Jake, uh, a five-year guy. Generations of loyal kitchen help doing it all. And a fried clam dinner. Ellen, big up. Twin lobsters are always a popular dish. Um, steamers, a lot of tables get steamers for their appetizer. And I'd say seafood platters, fried seafood platters, because it gives you a little bit of everything. Megan started working here in high school 20 years ago. That's like family. We have a really great crew. We all get along really well. DJ brings his own family here to eat now and helps when needed some 30 years after he first worked here as a teen. When they reopened this back up, they needed a busboy, and I was, I guess, the first busboy of the new location. I think it was like a rite of passage to work at Ray's, either as a takeout girl or busboy. Um, I worked in the Lobster Pound when that was, you know, years ago. That was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. 
Lots of family memories made here. Loyal patrons returning generation after generation. One of the longest, by the way, a ghost. Goldie is um, the restaurant ghost, and um, a lot of our longtime employees and family members, we all kind of have a little story. Goldie was Ray Parker's aunt, who spent her elder years living above the original restaurant. Employees described closing windows at night, arriving to them open in the morning, and other unexplained happenings. We kept answering the phone, and no one was on the other line. And we just thought, oh, you know, just, just someone messing around or whatnot. And then um, all of a sudden, all the glasses just started shaking and shaking. She comes and makes noises every once in a while, walking up the stairs. Just to remind you that it's her place? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but Ray's seafood is really everyone's place. Families returning year after year, comfort seafood in familiar oceanfront surroundings. Even um, if you only come once a year um, because you rent a house in the area for the summer with your family vacation, when you come to Ray's, it's, it's exactly how you remember it.